you need to make sure when you air up your tires that you're not getting any moisture in the tire. Good morning YouTube, this is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to leave from having uh, early, early, early morning coffee here at Einstein's. I was actually here a couple minutes before they opened. They opened at 5 a.m. and I was up early this morning at about 4. So I just decided to head up here and have coffee. Get a little work done I always bring my laptop with me so i can get a little work done in the mornings that's kind of my best time of day and we got a little reprieve from the monsoons here in north texas so i'm going to head to the grocery store do a little bit of shopping and see what kind of trouble i can get into this morning So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a uh, channel that's open to anybody that loves riding on two wheels. And we do motor vlogs and accessory reviews and installation and videos, how-to tips and tricks. You know, just all kinds of stuff like that. There is a lot of Honda Goldwing content on this channel. But it's not all Goldwing oriented, so no matter what kind of motorcycle you ride, you're welcome here. So I would invite you to please click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. Now, it's been slow the last week because we have had rain almost every day here in uh, Carrollton or Dallas Fort Worth I should say North Texas it has been probably five days in a row or maybe even six days in a row so it's it's been a long time we've been getting rain almost every day for seven or eight days I guess and I'm talking some days it's been a hard rain so we have definitely got our share it's supposed to rain again uh, later to this evening I don't know if it will but that is one of the reasons that I have not made my trip to West Texas yet. The day I was supposed to leave, which was Sunday, last Sunday, actually a week ago Sunday, I think. God, I can't remember. I guess it was last Sunday. I'm getting my days all confused here. But uh, it was pouring rain so I didn't really care a ride and a downpour and the forecast was for rain every single day so the trip got delayed now on top of that just a few days before that Ricky's mother who is 91 years old suffered a fall and broke her hip so she's been in the hospital, so that's uh, caused another delay, and she's still in the hospital. This is her second broken hip at 91 years old, which is a pretty, you know, it's a pretty serious thing. She broke her first hip about three years ago, in fact, almost exactly three years ago. So that's caused, um, caused me, that plus the rain has caused me to put my uh, road trip on hold for a little while. I don't know how long. I was really hoping to get out to West Texas while we had this nice cool weather in the mornings. But it just seems like every year the trip always gets delayed for some reason till the 1st of June and then it gets hotter than hell. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Now some of you watched my one of my most recent motor vlogs where I took the bike to get new tires put on and I didn't really go into depth on my uh, thoughts on tires there's some other things I wanted to talk about got a lot of comments on that video and 
a lot of you asked me why I use Bridgestone tires. And I told a little bit about it in the story. I've just always had good luck with Bridgestone tires. Now, some of you have commented about these new Dunlop E4s. Talked about how you're getting 15,000 miles out of them. And uh, how, you know, the, they just seem to be very good tires. And maybe that's something I'll look at. Um, I have no, I have nothing against Dunlop tires for sure. I've used the bike. This motorcycle came with Dunlops, and they seem to be good tires. But one thing I forgot to mention to you is I do use Dyna beads for balancing. I get a lot of people asking me questions about Centromatic uh, wheel balancers, and I've never used Centromatic, so I don't know anything about them. I know a lot of people use them, and a lot of people really like them. I, on the other hand, have always had very good luck with Dyna beads. I've been using them for probably seven or eight, nine years, seven, eight years, I guess. I used them in my 2012. I think I might have even started using them on my 2007. So when I took the bike in this time, uh, I had forgotten the last set of tires I got on. I had forgotten to tell them to use the Dyna beads and they had put the weights on the wheels and so this time I asked them just go ahead and take off the weights and put the uh, two ounce bag of Dyna beads in the wheels. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with Dyna beads they're basically little tiny ceramic beads that you put inside the tire and as the tire rolls, rotates, the centrifugal force inside the tire distributes those beads in such a way that it uh, has a balancing effect on the tires and I've always found they just work incredible I've never had a problem the bike it, to me is much much smoother and it also prevents me from having to use weights on the wheels I don't like those wheel weights because a lot of times these guys will damage your wheels, they'll scratch them when they try to take those weights off. So, now the beads are, they're not cheap. It probably costs about $20, maybe $17, $18 every time you change a set of tires. But uh, it's worth it. Honestly, the dealers should give you a little bit of a discount if you use them because they don't have to spend the time and uh, effort and money balancing the tires. You don't have to worry about the balancer. So if you're changing your own tires at home, uh, you wouldn't even have to have a balancer. You just simply throw the beads in there and the tires will be balanced. I guess it's the same with Centromatics. Uh, I guess you don't have to balance the tires with Centromatics either. But I've uh, always had a good luck with the Dyna Beads. They're not a sponsor. I'll tell you that right now. Dyna Beads does not pay me uh, to uh, promote their product. And I actually purchase the beads. I bought the last uh, beads on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you're interested and want to use them on your tires, I've just always had very good luck with them. Now, one thing I would caution you about is you need to make sure when you air up your tires that you're not getting any moisture in the tire because any moisture inside the tire would cause these beads to kind of clump up and uh, that might be an issue I've never had that problem but it could be a problem so where you run a risk of getting moisture in your tire or condensation would be from like a, a gas station uh, compressor one of those little things you put coins in you want to make sure you blow it out good give it some uh, you know blow it out for a few seconds before you start putting air in the tire otherwise there could be condensation in that tank so that's just uh, something I'll throw out there for you so if you have I th I'm gonna end the tire discussion with this video I mean I think we've talked enough about tires and I know a lot of you guys out there are dark siders and a lot of things I talk about don't apply to you because you're running car tires on the back and some of you even run car tires on the back and the front or you run a different tire on the front. I'm not sure if you run a car tire on the front. Now if you run a trike, I think there might be some people that run a car tire on the front. But uh, I'm not going to get into a dark siding discussion. 
Um, a lot of people always ask me about dark siding and I'm just not qualified to talk about it because I've never done it. So let me know in the comments down below uh, if you know you use Dyna beads or do you use Centromatics or do you just use the wheel weights? Put it in the comments down below and I'll remind you once again it really does help our rankings with YouTube if you if you like the video and you click on that little thumbs up you know like the video it makes a huge difference in our YouTube rankings so I really do appreciate it if you take the time to do that and you know feel free to share this video on Facebook or Twitter or whatever your other social media you're involved in send your friends to our YouTube channel um, we currently have about 31,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get that. I want to get to 50,000 subscribers this year. It's a big heavy lift, but that's the goal. And I appreciate anything you guys are doing out there. And a lot of you really do uh, everything you can to help promote the channel. Don't forget to check out my Goldwing maintenance videos at cruisemansgarage.com. And I will see you next time on Cruise Man's Motovlogs.